What's going on everyone? It's your girl Kara from Lights Camera Kara and on today's episode your girl is discussing the importance of letting God write your story. I am so in awe of this chapter of my life, this season, this year, everything that's going on and I know I say that every episode but it's the truth it's, <laughs> and I have to own it and I have to be grateful and I have to acknowledge God each and every single time I get on this camera because he's responsible for everything that's going on in my life in this moment, in this time, in this season, in this year. I just reflect on this time last year, how the Lord put it in my spirit that the theme for 2023 was going to be set free. And I don't believe that it's a coincidence that every single thing in my life that I've ever struggled with, that I've ever tussle with God about. It's all just coming and it's working together for my good. He Romans 8 28 my life where he shows me he's showing me that everything is working together for me because I love the Lord and because I put him first because I keep him first because I've intentionally done this life that I'm living God's way. I've been intentional about it all I can say is glory to God in the highest and I will continue to sing his praises because no one, no one but him is responsible for the success and for the favor that I'm ex experiencing in this chapter. And um, when I like reflect over the last eight months, I was actually talking with a trusted um, a trusted person in my life and I was telling them how the last eight months of this year I feel like I've made more progress in the last eight months of 2023 than I have in the last eight years and when I look back eight years ago being 22 years old just moving home trying to figure a lot of things out um, I thought that I could just, you know, success my way, accomplish my way out of trauma. I could accomplish and succeed my way out of things I didn't want to acknowledge, I didn't want to talk about. I thought that success was going to replace doing the deep inner work. And it took me up until about 2020 to realize that I couldn't I couldn't out succeed trauma. And I had to get real about my roots, about who Kara is, about why she does the things that she does and I talked about that in the last episode and um, healing my roots and how that's just been a blessing and how it's been able to flourish me into my purpose but I think what's most important is acknowledging that there are still so many things that I'm praying to God for and that I'm supplicating myself for and that I've actually been sacrificing for that he's just allowing to work out for me and I know that it's nobody but him allowing it all to sort of just work together because it's just flow, it's flowing together so perfectly. And it's not like one specific thing. It's not um, one specific area of my life. It's actually all areas. And I have a bunch of things going on in both my professional and my personal life that I just can't take the credit for at this point. Like it's no one but God in heaven working for your girl and doing things that I just never knew like I was even worthy of I never even knew that I was like qualified for blessings that he's bestowing on me that no one thought that I was qualified for that he saw fit to give me to render to me and I'm just like oh <laughs> like my my heart is just so full and um, I normally choose songs for my episodes that are like gospel songs and their praise and worship songs because I curate these playlists. Another thing I've been able to do in being intentional with God and allowing him to write my story as I've been reading my scriptures, I've been curating playlists that have consisted of praise and worship music to keep my soul right, to keep my spirit right. Um, and they have been featured, most of the songs on my playlist have been featured on every single episode leading up to this one. But on this episode, I chose to um, select a song that's popular right now by an artist called Coco Jones. And the song is I See You. 
and it's a love song it's it's a love song that she's serenading someone that she loves that she adores she's serenading them but when i heard this song all i could think about was god in heaven and how i'm so in love with him and how i'm just so thankful for him and i'm so grateful for him and for the first time in my adult life i know that he loves me i know that god in heaven loves me that he adores me that he sees me that he wants to give me all of the desires of my heart like for the first time i actually feel that way for a long time i struggled with knowing god and being associated with his word and associated with his character but i'm getting to know his character for myself and there is something that's so beautiful and that's so special about that it's one thing for your family to tell you like oh this is who god is or for you to hear sermons and hear like oh this is who god is and someone's like yelling at you ah no he's all right all that stuff and i love it i love it because i'm a church girl down in my bones but um it's something different about relationship with god like i'm not so much so about like religion I don't really like religion. I never really have. Um, I wasn't raised on religion. I was. I am rooted. I have been rooted in religion. But I am a person that is more so about relationship with God at this point in my life. And I think that's why I'm able to feel the way that I feel about him because of my relationship with him. I mean, my daily walk with God. When I get up in the morning, when I read my word, when I exercise, when I like, I literally show up as the godly woman that he's calling me to be. And I try to show up. And when at this point, like, I don't even really want people to see Kara anymore. And I want y'all to know if y'all thought that y'all were seeing Kara, y'all aren't seeing Kara no more. Y'all are seeing Jesus. And I pride myself in this season on striving to be a vessel and striving to be an example of sanctification and i think the most important thing that i'm learning as i allow god to really rule my life and be the head of my life i'm learning that he just he, he just does something he does something to your aura like when you really get locked in with god when you get to know who his son jesus is when you get to know his word for yourself your walk is different your aura is different people can see the jesus in you and it bestows favor that is just unmatched it's unmatched and i just wish everyone could like feel the way that i feel <laughs> like i am so in love with jesus and he is my choice and I'm thankful that he's been writing my story. It took me 30 years to realize that God is responsible for this story. It had nothing to do with who my mama was. It had nothing to do with who my daddy is. It had nothing to do with who my grandparents were. God preordained and predestined everything that is going on in my life. And I'm just so glad that he's getting the glory and that I know him for myself and that his story is is literally like overruling any other story that any other person has had to like say about me and i love that so much like i talked a little bit about my childhood and my experience in my childhood and what that was like and just these episodes i talked about different things that i've been through and one thing i've learned about god writing your story is you can write your own story, but ultimately God's story is going to overrule everything. I talked about God's plans overruling everything. God's story overrules everything. Never worry about telling your side of any story because you have what you have to say. But at the end of the day, God's story overrules everything. And his story is going to be so loud. No one will be able to doubt that it was God in heaven that had his hands on you from the very beginning. That's the power of allowing God to write your story. Holding your peace, staying rooted in your word, staying rooted in Jesus embodying his essence, being a willing vessel 
that's what this season is about and that's what letting god write your story entails that's what it requires and i hope that you all were able to you know tune into this show and learn something that was beneficial that was useful and i hope that each and every one of you are or are encouraged or inspired to start allowing god to write your story and know that if it doesn't look the way that you want it to look, the way that you pray for it to look, the way that you have just, uh, like, I really want this God, just know that all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord. I challenge you to remember that scripture, Romans 8, 28. Take it, allow God to write your story. Take your hands off, whatever it is, and let God do his thing. His story is so much better. His plan is so much better. I love you all. Be on the lookout for the next episode of Lights, Camera, Cara. Also, be on the lookout for the new launch of my new series for God's Chosen Girls. It's going down. Fall is here. Set Free 2023 is very much so on and popping. I love you all. Until next time, from Lights, Camera, Cara. Take care.